I'd like to welcome you to our Latin Trails webinar today. We are here to talk about the Ecuadorian Amazon. It's a real paradise in the world, and we're just delighted to talk to you about how the Amazon is an ideal complement add-on to uh, Galapagos Islands experience, all of course, which can be arranged through Latin Trails. So it's my pleasure now to turn it over to Daniel and Adriana. Uh, Daniel and Adriana are responsible for the sales and marketing with Latin Trail. So Daniel, Adriana, over to you. Hi, good afternoon and thank you, Nate. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Adriana and I'm the representative of Latin Trails at the sales department. Daniel. Good afternoon with everyone. Thank you so much for joining us in our Ecuadorian Amazon, a real paradise in the world webinar. Uh, we will discuss about the surprises, uh, what activities you have to do, and every information about this beautiful region of Ecuador. Latin Trails is a B2B company. We are a DMC, a inbound tour operator, with 20 years of experience working in programs in all South America. Our main destination is Ecuador. We are focused in, to create guest experiences and customize all our itineraries. We work with the local communities, local tourists. We offer a concert service. That means that we can give a solution for the problems that travelers could have during the journey. We always uh, are open to offer online training for your team if you need it. Where are located Ecuador? As you can see in the map, we are located in South America, in this small but beautiful country. South America is famous for the biodiversity of each country. Each country is different, but this makes special to this part of the continent. Our main office is in Quito, Ecuador. And well, Ecuador is open to the world. So we have many airlines to come from Ecuador for many destinations like United States, Mexico, Panama, and Europe. For example, America Airlines, Copa Airlines. If you came from Europe, you can choose Air Europe, Iberia, KLM, and other airlines. You can take a direct flight from Quito, uh, to came from Quito and Guayaquil from the United States. If your destination is Quito, you can depart from Miami, Fort Lauderdale, Houston, and Atlanta. And if your final destination is Guayaquil, you can depart from New York, Miami, and Fort Lauderdale. Ecuador is now like the country of the four worlds. Why? Because we have the uh, Galapagos Islands, the Pacific Coast, the Andes, and of course the Amazon rainforest. Here you can see uh, the map of Ecuador with the Andean Highlands. And, well, Quito is the gateway to the Amazon. Quito is famous for the colonial style of the historical center of the city. We have the middle of the world, the Panesillo Hilltop. Quito is a key location in Ecuador because it's near to the uh, main attractions in the country. And also with the international airport, you can take national flights and international flights. In Quito, we are owners of the Ile Experience Hotel, a 17th century restored house located in the San Marcos neighborhood. Uh, it's a key location because you are minutes walk away from the main attractions of the historical center. Ila shows how Quito changed over the years. For that reason, uh, we have three different concepts in each floor. We have the uh, colonial floor, the Republican floor, and contemporary floor. Here you can see the rooms. About our facilities, we have a beautiful rock top with a panecillo view to the panecillo hilltop, the old town. We have a spa area with private jacuzzi, a wine cellar. But why is called Ila Experience Hotel? Because the real stars of Ila are the local community, the San Marcos community. We offer 60 different experiences in the hotel. For example, Gladys, she uh, prepare local sweets. She brings the ingredients to the hotel and show the techniques, the recipes to the guests. Miss Olga, teaching the straw hat knitting. Jerry, who is a watercolor artist. And other experiences also. 
between experiences of art, gastronomic, and beverage experiences. In Ila, you will find the next restaurant by the head Juan Carlos Donoso. And between Ila, Ines, and Latin Grapes, we create the community project Nest. Main purpose is discover the young gastronomic talent in the most remote communities in Olegua. This is a perfect option to stay before uh, you can start the uh, itinerary in the Amazon. Well, the Amazon rainforest, uh, it's, uh, well, it represents the 40% of our territory in, in Ecuador and is one of the best conserved uh, in the planet. Well, we have registered uh, 11 Amazon, Amazonian nationalities and many of them who have had no contact with the outside world. It is also home of species, including amphibians, reptiles, uh, mammals, and bears, and with more than 1,000 species of tree, and they add in addition to a large uh, vegetation. I'm on, I'm continuing. Yeah, I'm on, I'm on the, um, its protected areas, we have one of the most important in Ecuador, which is the Yasuni uh, National Park located at the Orellana province uh, with 900,000 acres, and it's the area of the greatest diversity of species in the country. We also have the Cuyabeno Reserve located at Sucumbíos with more than 600,000 acres, and it's the ecosystem and home of the unique species, such as the Pink River Dolphin. Some of the, of the national parks, uh, well, the species we have at Zamora Chinchipe, you can find the Cock of the Rock uh, bird, And as you may see, uh, well, the Amazon uh, region is surrounded by river, lakes, and, and the abundant uh, flora and fauna. Its traditional food, well, it's prepared with ancestral and products and practices that express in every preparation. Uh, some of the ingredients are cassava, fresh, uh, fresh water fish, chicken, uh, the chantacuros, and more ingredients that are used to the unique gastronomy in the area. Well, we have, uh, the area is, uh, well, the, the, the special place to practice some sport activities as the horseback riding, rafting. We also share experiences with local communities as the chocolate experience. Here we have a farm where you can, uh, well, have a day with the, with the community and then how do they how do they work with the with the chocolate and well a lot of ingredients they use in their gastronomies too. The, the best place for bird watching. We'll have we visit to the communities and uh, well, make part of the traditions. They will also teach you to elaborate typical well, handicrafts, cooking classes. They will use a ritual as well. Night walks. We also have at the Tena uh, province some uh, caves and with uh, petroglyphics. And to get to the Amazon, we can do it by plane from Quito to the city of Coca. Well, it will take 30 minutes flight. 
And you can also be made by land uh, through the city of Tena. Lago Agrio. Oh. And from the center of the Andes, you can uh, visit the Amazon through the city of Baños. That's the way to the Amazon. And uh, from Baños to the Amazon, we are about an hour to um, the Pastaza province in the city of Puyo. From the south of the country, we have uh, well, uh, partway to Macas. And the best options to stay in the Amazon uh, are the lodges and river cruises. Uh, in, in the Amazon, we have uh, really good lodges and luxury options. Uh, most of them are located at the Yasuni area. Such, well, Hakuna Matata is one of the best options that is near to Quito, just three hours and a half away from, from the capital at the, um, near, at the Napa province. We have this lodge that, with a capacity for 45 um, guests, has nice activities, uh, well, tailor-made activities inside the property so the passenger can choose what to do every day, but we have a lot of offers of, of, and options including visit, visits to the communities. Here are some uh, rendered photos of the new uh, cabins and rooms that we are going to launch soon. Napo Wildlife and Napo Cultural Center located at the uh, province of Orellana in, inside the Yasuni National Park. It has the capacity for 50, well, Napa Wildlife has a capacity for 15 passengers and Napa Cultural Center for 48 passengers. Sacha Lodge, is, it is also located at Yasuni National Park. It's a, it's a new uh, property, nice property with luxury services. La Selva Ecolodge. It has been refurbished and has nice changes uh, during this year. Uh, well, it has a capacity, well, ha it has 19 suites. All of them are luxuries with a nice view to the river. And Arayanes y Piedra, which is located at um, the Macas and Morona Santiago province. Regarding the Amazon cruises, we have the Amazon, uh, the Anaconda cruise with a capacity for 36 passengers. It has spacious social areas, uh, well, nice dining room, uh, and uh, well, they have a naturalist guide and includes the guided visits every day. The Manatee Explorer with a capacity for 28 passengers. Double rooms with uh, private balconies, social areas, and with the best gastronomy on board. You can also extend your trip uh, in Ecuador to the Galapagos Islands. We have um, well a variety of services, including cruises and land-based programs. With the cruises, we well most of the of the judge in the Galapagos Island had uh, three basic itineraries, which are uh, four, five, and eight-day uh, programs. If you can combine them all, you can get up to a fifteen-day uh, itinerary in the islands, visiting. Uh, well, the southern, northern, central, and western islands. We have created the Galapagos Boutique Judge.com, which is a tool where you can find online uh, availability of the luxury boats and judge in, in the islands. 
some of the luxury options of, of cruises in Galapagos. Most of them have the capacity for 16 passengers. They are a small yacht and catamarans, but these are expeditionary cruises. So, in well, we also have uh, some uh, 100 and more passengers uh, alternatives. Yeah, and regarding the land-based programs, we can offer you programs uh, based in San Cristobal, Santa Cruz, and Isabela. We have programs from four up to eight-day uh, itineraries. Well, and some of the op options to stay in the islands are, uh, well, we offer a variety of uh, hotel accommodations. Most of them are luxury options as Montemar, located at the highland, uh, Villes Calesia, which is a nice property that can uh, be full by out. It has a capacity for 11 passengers, can be rented for a family with a nice view to the ocean. Picaya Lodge, which is one of the most uh, exclusive lodges in, the, in, in Santa Cruz. It is located at the highland of Santa Cruz. San Cristobal, in San Cristobal, well, we have many activities and, uh, and the best place for um, diving, snorkeling with Punta Pit. Uh, from San Cristobal, you can also have full day tours to Española and Kiki Rock or the 360 um, degrees uh, itinerary. The options to stay in, in San Cristobal is the Galapagos Sunset, Golden Bay, and Indigo. All of them are luxury options now, uh, well, in, in, the, in the island. At Isabella, in Isabella, well, we, we can uh, offer you the state at um, Iwana Crossing. And in this place, you have a lot of activities to do as, uh, well, the the volcano Sierra Negra volcano, the Flamingos Lake, and more. So it, it is worth to stay more than a night here, and we offer uh, the accommodation with Isamar Escalation Lodge in the Juana Crossing. If you prefer to stay more days in Ecuador. Well, we offer you uh, tailor-made programs in the Avenue of Volcanoes from north to south. We can visit uh, some of our national parks as the Cotopaxi Volcano. Uh, up to the north, we have uh, the Otavalo Market. And there we, we can offer you the stay at the local and traditional haciendas. Heading to the south of the, of the Andes, we also have the Chimborazo, the center of the Andes at Riobamba, more dates in Baños as well. And heading to the south, up to the city of Cuenca. It is worth to stay more than, more than two nights here. We have a lot of activities to do, uh, local communities with uh, artisans, well, museums, visit, visit to the cathedral and the other churches. And from Cuenca to the city of Guayaquil, we have in between the Cajas National Park surrounded by lakes, which is a nice place to visit uh, before arriving to, to the main port, which is uh, Guayaquil. In Guayaquil, we also have uh, activities with cacao farms, uh, local haciendas, uh, well, the visit to the, to the city and the museum, the historical park. Well, that near near Guayaquil will have the Hacienda La Danesa, a local uh, cacao farm. And the, in one of the most luxury hotels in the area, which is the Hotel del Parque. Thank you. And here are some of our, well, you can see uh, it's our website. Uh, uh, you can contact us to travel at latintrails.com and by our Skype line, Ecuador Boutique Travel. Thank you.
Thank you, Adriana. That was wonderful. Thank you, Nate. Yeah, that was wonderful. So <laughs> I'm going to, we'll bring um, our webcams back on now and um, we will get some questions answered for the audience. And so I know we one of the questions that we have here is about the best time of year to visit the Amazon area. Yeah, well, yeah, for to me, best time to visit is all the year round. Yeah, you can, well, we have a lot of uh, two stations here, winter and, and summer, but uh, there are uh, a variety of activities and species that you can see during all the year. Most of the of the passengers or people like to travel in in the summer break, which is a nice season too. All right. And would you say that um, it, it does this also the visits into the Amazon area? Does this also tend to be the best time for maybe touring um, into the Galapagos as well? Does this all match up very well as far as best time to travel to all of these at once? Sure, sure. Uh, well, it, it is the same for Galapagos. You can visit all the year round. Uh, Galapagos, uh, to me, you will find uh, every month you can find many, uh, well, uh, things to do, species to see, uh, an alternative to of activities. So sometimes people prefer to, to travel um, by the end of the year because of, of Christmas. But uh, it is also in the winter time, you can enjoy the islands as well. All right. And then how many days would you recommend if one wanted to do a combination of Amazon, Ecuadorian Amazon and Galapagos? At least two weeks, because, well, I'll say in the in the Andes, you can easily spend uh, a week, another four days to five days in the Amazon. And it is worth to stay in, in the Galapagos Island at least eight days. So you can enjoy it and visit most part of the islands too. Ah, oh, very good. Thank you. And what are your thoughts about families? Would you say there's a, what would be the youngest traveler to, that you would suggest for, for, for traveling to this area? Yeah, I'll suggest kids from uh, seven years. From seven years. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But we, well, when we have groups, we, just respect that. And if they have uh, younger uh, babies, well, if it's a group, we only ask them to sign a release. Ah, okay, very good. So uh, we have a question here about electricity. So what do, do Americans or Canadians need to bring an adapter if they want to plug in any sort of electronics? What's what are the what's the electricity like in in Ecuador? Uh, it is the same. The only difference with us is the European uh, connectors, I said. Mm -hmm. But we use the same as the as the states. Okay, so just a different plug, but the same. yeah, yeah, okay. good. And then we have uh, someone asking. Um, they noticed that your telephone number is a U.S phone number. And so what, um, what hours do you keep? I think you're just one hour off of East coast, correct? Um, yeah, our, uh, our work hours are from 8 AM in Ecuador time until 6 PM, but you can also contact us by the Skype line and we can help you any uh, Well, it depends on the time, but it can be out of work, working hours. Ah, okay, good. And um, if, so for those, for those listening right now, they um, are one hour behind us. So right now for you, it's 1230 in Quito, right? Correct. Yeah. So um, they would be on the equivalent of U.S. Central Time. Um, but I know that at certain times of year, that might change based on whether we're in daylight savings time or not. So, um, but, but close enough. So that's good. Yeah. Uh, okay. 
There's a question about whether there are facilities on the boats or in the rainforest for people who may be handicapped or have mobility problems. Well, in, in the Galapagos, there are just a few boats that offer these facilities. But in this case, well, I all recommend the land based programs because of the hotels. They they do offer these facilities. If they prefer the cruise, we will well adapt the the the, the tour for the passengers. Normally we have these cases, so we arrange a cabin at the main deck with a facility for, for the passenger. And if they are not allowed to, to walk, uh well, the guy will assist them and offer them uh, at, at another tour alternatives. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and in the Amazon, well, it, it, that's a bit difficult. Uh, our recommendation will be uh, to the lodge near Quito. And well, I'll, I'll have to check that with the other lodges too. Mm -hmm. So definitely, I guess call, the, the most important thing would be to call you. Um... Yes. Yeah. Yes. So we can check the facilities in each one. Okay. We didn't really talk about this. I think I know the answer, but for food, you we talked about the typical food, but if someone has uh, special dietary needs, can those be accommodated? Sure. Sure. We adapt to any restriction, meal restriction. We work with uh, the best uh, alternatives for passengers. We have uh, requests of vegetarian, vegans, and just in the case of kosher, well, it will it will depend on on the cruise or the hotel, but we can also arrange something if it's a, a, a group. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's good. Thank you. Um, well, this uh, we've answered all of the questions that we had today, so I will turn it back to you and if Daniel has anything else to share, but I will let both of you share some final thoughts before we say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, Lee, and thank you all uh, for this time and for sharing with us. Uh, please feel free to contact us. We are here to arrange the best service for your clients. And well, we work as, as you see, we have tailor-made programs so we can prepare something special. Or if you need something to promote in your websites, we can also work for you uh, preparing some material with Daniel. Yes, Daniel has, you have beautiful marketing materials, Daniel. Do you <laughs> want to add anything to that? Yes, thank you everyone for joining us. And in the next hours, we I will send you the presentation and many of, of our itineraries that you can see the main itineraries that we have. But as Adriana said, we can customize the itineraries so in the next hours. I will be in contact with every one of you. All right. Well, thank you both so much for spending some time with us today and educating us on the beautiful Ecuadorian Amazon and, of course, Galapagos. So we thank all of you for being with us as well. And with that, we'll wish you all a great day and conclude our webinar. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.